Covenant have finally taken the war to Reach, humanity's last line of defense before the planet Earth. Now it's up to you, a Spartan III super soldier, to face this threat head on and without mercy. To do this, you'll need every tool available, the very best of the best. And that's exactly how you'll be outfitted. The Assault Rifle, an effective, blistering, close quarters weapon which has been in service since 2437. The designated Marksman Rifle, surgical, proficient, and deadly at range. The DMR is arguably the most versatile weapon the Army currently maintains. The Magnum, a trusty sidearm up close with a smart linked scope for long shots in the clutch. The Grenade Launcher, a single shot beast which explodes on contact or by remote detonation for those who appreciate a more subtle approach. The Sniper Rifle, in service since 2460, remains unchallenged in efficacy and lethality at extreme distances. And at the other end of the spectrum is the Shotgun, a fierce close quarters arm that works wonders in tight corridors. The Rocket Launcher, as brutal as it is lethal with specialized lock-on targeting for aerial vehicles. The Spartan Laser is a ruthless, cutting-edge weapon which can effectively neutralize both aerial and ground-based vehicles. The machine gun can provide both suppressive fire and direct point-to-point -point coverage, raising the Covenant's death toll one body at a time. Standard fragmentation grenades are also available to neutralize dug-in enemies or clean out pesky choke points. And if you really want to send a message their way, get your hands on a target locator and call in orbital support. Go on the shoot, over. Light them up, soldier. The Army isn't making you walk, either. The Warthog currently operates in three different flavors. One outfitted with a standard light anti-aircraft gun, one with the beastly Gauss variant, and one with rockets. And if you're just looking for a ride, the troop transport will get you there by ground, or the battle-hardened Pelican by air. Or grab a mongoose for quick slingshot scouting runs with a back seat for cargo or personnel. And for the skilled pilots among you, there's the UNSC Falcon, a heavy utility helicopter which is ideal for personnel insertion and impressive at supplying heavy fire at any Covenant fool dumb enough to stand in its way. The Scorpion tank is still apparently the toughest nut for the Covenant to crack. Drive this rig right down their alien throats and pull the trigger without hesitation or mercy. You'll have longsword support throughout, so keep your eyes on the sky. But if you find that you need to get your hands dirty in space, the Saber is the way you'll be getting there. Highly classified and without equal, tear those coveys to pieces in space with this top secret equipment. If you can't find any UNSC material nearby, don't hesitate to grab weapons from fallen enemies. Plasma pistol. It's standard across all troop details within the Covenant, but it ain't helpless by any stretch of the imagination. Rapid fire is lethal even against tough foes, and the overcharged burst is powerful enough to temporarily disable shields and vehicles. The plasma rifle is a long-standing weapon for Covenant officers and troops alike. Reliable, sturdy, and effective. Its bigger brother is the plasma repeater, a beefier and more aggressive variation on the same tech. The spike rifle is typical of brute weapons, intended to maim and disfigure if a kill can't be secured. Up close, it's double-bladed can have even more violent results. The Covenant's concussion rifle fires plasma which detonates on contact with explosive results, while the focus rifle sends a surge of directed energy to contacts both up close and at range. The needle rifle, a single fire weapon with incredible precision, three shots on an unshielded opponent will end their alien lives with explosive efficiency. And using the standard needler sidearm, similar effects can be achieved with slightly less accuracy needed. The Plasma Launcher fires projectiles which home in on both infantry and vehicle targets. Though engineered for distant targeting, in the hands of a trained soldier, it can have devastating results up close as well. On the other side of the equation, the Fuel Rod Cannon salvages general accuracy for effectivity, stomping out enemies alone or in bulk. For suppressive fire, the Covenant have standard plasma turrets and shades at their disposal. The latter with both plasma and fuel rod variants distributed across various fields of combat. Up close, the Covenant are unmatched. Elites utilize the razor-sharp Covenant energy sword, while brutes harness the overwhelming force of the gravity hammer. And of course, the Covenant's plasma grenade. It has the explosive potential of a frag grenade, but sticks to any enemy when kindly directed on their person. The Covenant rides range from quick and dirty to heavy massed and powerful. As a standard recon and assault vehicle, the Ghost is one of the most versatile in Covenant ground engagements. 
On the other end of the spectrum is the Wraith, a beastly creation of the Covenant's war machine, which can fire plasma mortars with seriously destructive results. And somewhere in the middle of the two lies the Revenant. Though similar to the Ghost in speed and maneuverability, it also fires plasma mortars like the Wraith, but slightly less powerful ones. In the skies, the Covenant have an array of vehicles at their disposal. Expect to find two types of Banshees, those in atmosphere and ones you'll encounter in space, alongside the tough but common fighter class, the Seraph. The Covenant deploy troops groundside with one of two dropship variants. While the Spirit dropship is using the protection of a closed carriage, the Phantom's twin plasma turrets and gravity lift make hot insertions simple and lethal. Across the battlefield, you'll find a number of armor augmentations which will allow you Spartans the ability to change up your combat encounters. With Sprint, you can summon quick bursts of speed which can be used to get to cover or to flank an enemy position. The Jetpack, useful for getting to out-of-reach areas or even buffering hard landings when in freefall. Armor Lock offers a limited but effective enhancement to shielding technology, making the stationary user invulnerable for a time before releasing a close-range EMP. Hologram creates a holographic projection of the user with a limited lifespan, deployed to dupe and divert enemies, making them vulnerable for a flanking attack. Active Camouflage offers near invisibility, allowing you to scout out enemy positions or to infiltrate fortified locations without raising attention. The Drop Shield, unlike Armor Lock, allows you to move while it provides a circular, bubble-like energy barrier. These are your tools of the trade, your implements of war. They're all you have out there in the field, so use them, and use them wisely, or else the Covenant will use them against you.